I'm Mary Ellen Welling, and I'm committed to making Belmont better for our critical care patients. Because of the surge, imagine dropping off your loved one at the ER door and, you know, an hour later, they're getting intubated, they're on a ventilator, and now they're in the ICU unit. I was making phone calls for patients, giving updates, and how, how can I help, and what can I do? I was talking to the wife of a patient that wasn't doing very well. He was not responding, and she was just telling me, I wish he could hear me. He could hear my son talk. He could hear the dogs bark. I, you know, just give him some hope that we're here for him. I just said, you know what? Do you guys have one of those voice recorders? Why don't you and your son do some recordings, walk around the house, talk to your husband as if he's there. Just saying, hang in there, we're here for you. Normal course of your morning, hear the coffee pot going on. Go outside in the backyard and you could hear the birds, the dog barking. Love you, Dad. I took it up to the ICU and just played. It was a 20 hour loop. We'll be with you soon. That evening, I remember being at home and getting an email from the nurse saying, you know what, you're not gonna believe this, but he has tears running down his eyes. I can't believe this, he is in there, he hears them. Within 48 hours, they got him off the vent. In like three, four days, they had him in step-down unit, moving to rehab. What Mary Ellen did without even trying is helped to create a position where we're now able to be there for them physically, emotionally, psychologically, you know, everything the patient and the family needs. Honestly, I was just being a nurse. I was just being a nurse and trying to make a connection for them. And this turned into be something really wonderful. Making care better for our patients, that's my commitment to you.